So on today's episode, we're going to install the Spoiler King XL Spoiler with center cut. That's the 380 RC. It's got that little center cut there for the brake light. You do an overhead view. There you go. It's a pretty sweet looking spoiler. And you guys seem to be enjoying the new format, which is a super fast video, straight into the point, no BS and no background music. So that's what we're gonna stick with. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, so today we're working on the back end of the kitty. There's uh, one area that I always felt needed something, like right here off the back. Well, about a year or so ago, my buddy Ryan Hemifam put a uh, Spoiler King spoiler on the back of his charger, and I was really digging the way it looked. So uh, I've been staring at them for a little over a year. They were offering out sponsorships a few months ago, so I signed up, uh, got accepted. It's not like you get a free Spoiler King. You still gotta pay for it. It's still more than half the price of the Spoiler King, but did give me that little extra boost or a discount to kind of just you know stop staring at them and buy them one of the things i didn't like about their site is you don't really get a good idea what their spoilers look like because the pictures aren't so awesome so i'm going to spend a little bit of time today doing the install which is pretty simple and then uh, of course just giving you a ton of different angles so you can get an idea of what this thing looks like so the first step it comes in this teeny itty bitty little box right here yes a full-size back window spoiler comes in this little box it's all curled up when you take it out it doesn't get into its shape uh, so when I got the box I was in a rush so I just opened it up laid it flat in the back of the Magnum as flat as I can get it and when I came home that night it was perfectly straight there's no creases in the middle uh, so what I'm doing right now is the Magnum roof is nice and hot so I have to create a curve an arc so it goes around the back window so what I've done is I've taped it here I'm pulling it back here to create that arc and then I'm pulling it back down here this way and it just sits in the sun and it kind of bakes into that position or at least that's what the instructions say. All right, so we've got it mounted on top of the car with some tape, clean the area underneath with uh, rubbing alcohol. You'll notice there's a little crease or a little opening right there, gap between the windshield and the, the end. Make sure the gap is even on both sides. There you go, we got the same exact gap on both sides. Just push that up a little bit there. So now we're ready to lay it down. So we've got the underside cleaned, we've got the glass cleaned, we scraped it, and then we cleaned it with uh, rubbing alcohol. So now we're gonna peel it out from the center and work our way to the outer edges. So while I'm cutting here, I wanna use a moment to explain, I did not use the included primer because the primer etches the glass and I wasn't really about to commit to etching the glass to stick this on. The 3M VHB provided is more than sufficient on clean glass to take care of this. Also, if you have your window ceramic coated, you're going to need to get that ceramic coating polished off because in most cases, a lot of things don't stick to ceramic coated glass. Just tap it. All right. All right, so our center line is good. We've checked each end again. So I'm going to do the top section to hold it in place, just this section here. And then I'm going to come back and do the bottom section if we don't lose everything to the wind. I'm going to remove my tape on this side completely so I have more control over the piece. And what I'm doing is I'm just lining this up with the rear windshield, making sure that this line here is perfect. As I peel it back, push it into place just keep it in line try not to push too close because then it pinches this so maybe stop about an inch away from your, your tape area also as you do this make sure you still have the red pieces hanging off the bottom so we don't get those stuck inside There we go. Nice. Okay, 
Okay, let's go around to the other side. Again, I'm just using the edge of the windshield to line up my spoiler. Very simple. Also, making sure not to get too close to the tape. And then right out to this edge is where it gets a little tricky. You want to do it all in one motion. There we go. There we go. All good. All right. Now that we got this down, the other side, the center, is just going to be fairly simple. So the install is complete. I'll get some photos so I can get you guys visuals at different angles. But uh, we wound up, oh man, stuff blowing all over it. Wound up coating it in Adam's VRT because the gray was bugging me. So now it matches the sheen of the roof. It's got a darker black look to it. And it takes out some of that, the scratches, the looks of the scratches there. So overall, it came out beautiful. I'm really happy with it. Just do a nice walk around and then we'll get to another location and do a better one. All right, so my overall opinion, the Spoiler King spoiler is excellent. The only downside to it was, of course, them jamming it into a tiny little box, which turned out to be a non-issue. The other problem I had was the sheen of the uh, thing out of the box. We had to coat it in Adam's VRT just to give it a better shine, a better look. Uh, but overall, 10 out of 10, would buy it again. If you're looking for one of these, you can check the links in the description. Unfortunately, we don't have any discounts with Spoiler King. But uh, if you're looking for this specific one, I'll link to it in the description. And then you can go check out all their other spoilers, ranging from small to large, large with cutout like the one you see here. And one last thing, this spoiler does not show up in your rear window. So it's not something you can see while you're driving. It sits above the roof line of the car. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, gently press that like button. If you're stopping by for the first time, check out my other content and consider subscribing. And as always, Thanks for watching.